it's finally time. Hisuian Decidui is coming to Seven Star Raids. So our first Terra Raid post Mewtwo is going to be Hisuian Decidui. Hisuian Decidui's hidden ability is Scrappy, which we're most likely going to see in this Terra Raid because of the, you know, established pattern of all hidden ability on our seven star raids chances are that's going to be a thing so in this case we have scrappy so it can hit ghost types with fighting type or normal type attacks what a quinky dink it has a signature fighting type attack it's also immune to intimidate while having scrappy which means tauros sit on the sideline you're not going to be helping us especially if you're trying to solve this if you get the tauros ah, i'm sorry i feel bad for you so as far as our stats go we have Base 112 attack and 95 special attack. Chances are this thing is going to be a primary physical attacker, but we might see the odd special attack in there. I don't see it being a primarily special attacker, but this thing does get access to both Swords Dance and Nasty Plant. So you, you could see it, but I think we're probably going to want to deal with preparing for physical attacks with the odd special attack in mind. So what can we potentially see on Hisui and Decidueye? Well, we might see Leaf Blade. It's base 90 power. It also has a boosted crit rate. We might see Triple Arrows, the signature fighting type attack that it did get in Legends Arceus. Also base 90 power with a heightened crit ratio. It also has a 50% chance to lower your defense one stage and can potentially make you flinch with a 30% chance odds on that. Now, Hisui and Decidueye is not the fastest, but we might see something like either Rock Tomb, which gives it a little bit of coverage to hit it, uh, Fire, Ice, and Bug types super effectively, as well as Flying types. We might see Trailblaze, which would be Stab, Grass type coverage, which would increase the speed stat one stage. So we could see Rock Tomb or Trailblaze to either slow down us or speed up Decidueye, give or take whatever move they put on it. That might be a thing. Silver lining to both of those moves, though, is they both do have relatively weaker base power. Rock Tomb is base 60. Trailblaze is base 50. So that could be a thing. We might see knockoff to deal with ghost types if this thing doesn't want to go for a fighting type attack into our ghost type. Maybe we have a ghost type that does have a secondary typing, in the case of Gengar, poison, that resists fighting type. We might see knockoff instead to do super effective damage. That could be a thing. Knockoff would be base 65 power that would get a 50% boost from removing an item. That could be realistic. We could see Brave Bird as physical flying type damage which would be base 120 power. And because seven star raids give the braid boss such a high HP modifier, it's going to take next to nothing in recoil. So Brave Bird could definitely be a thing. On the special side, we could see Leaf Storm, base 130 grass type damage right there. It would lower the special attack stat two stages. But if it has Nasty Plant, that's going to be negligible. Or if it's going to be kind of like the Charizard where it led overheat and then just immediately cleared its debuffs. Could be a thing. We have Aura Sphere, which is base 80 power that can't miss. That could be spooky. Wrong ghost type versus, or wrong owl, I guess, but hey, that could be spooky. We could also alternatively see Focus Blast, which is base 120 power with 70 accuracy. That could be a thing. Air Cutter could uh, be some flying type special coverage with a heightened crit ratio. Or Air Slash, which is 75 with a 30% chance to make you flinch. So there's definitely that. Hisuian Decidueye gets a fair amount of moves that do get boosted crit ratio. Uh, on top of that, it also gets moves that can make you flinch. So the speed idea of either Trailblaze or Rock Tomb could synergize with the flinch odds so that could be a problem to keep in mind now the the lucky thing for us though is hisuian decidui does not get access to focus uh focus energy i almost said focus blast but no um it doesn't get focus energy so that could be nice in our favor because that would be enough to make sure this thing lands instant crits like the samurai raid did so chances are that means we could be seeing a very different gimmick instead of a crit machine so this third one here like i mentioned it gets both sword stance and nasty plot it also gets bulk up as well too so it could increase its attack and defense 
I don't think it gets Calm Mind, which is kind of nice. Yeah, it doesn't get Calm Mind, so it can't increase the special stats. So we're probably going to want to attack the special defense side because another thing to keep in mind is it can get Feather Dance. So Feather Dance would lower the target's attack two stages. So if you're trying to hit it on the physical side and it's Feather Dancing you, you could be in trouble there. So let's just take a quick look at the stats here. 80 defense versus 95 special defense. Technically, the special defense would be a little bit harder to hit, but if this thing has bulk up, well, it's going to be increasing its defense in addition to its attack. So you might want to pick at the special defense instead. So some counters that I think might be good for Hisui and Desujuai. Starting off, Gengar. I think Gengar can be really strong. It's got base 130 special attack. If you run max HP investment or close to max HP investment, because we do have a little bit of physical defense investment into this thing, alongside special attack, we should be able to tank hits from Hisui and Decidui. With the poison subtyping added to our ghost type, we are going to resist fighting type and grass type attacks. So we do have that working in our favor. We have the ability to set up on Hisui and Decidui. We could potentially go for a burn with Will-O-Wisp. The accuracy is a little bit risky, but if we land that burn early on, what we can do from there is we can set up some nasty pawns to increase our special attack. We can also go acid spray to soften up that special defense and then finally punish Hisui and Decidui with sludge bomb now if we don't want to go will-o-wisp and we want to go a different status what we could do is we can run toxic we can get hisui decidui badly poisoned so it'll take more damage over time and then what we could do there instead of run sludge bomb is we can run venoshock so venoshock will double in power when the target is poisoned now one thing to keep in mind here though is we do have to be weary of Hisui and Decidui clearing its debuffs. And once the Terra Shield goes up, Toxic won't be doing us any good. So that is something that we will have to keep an eye out for. But I think with getting Gengar up to plus six special attack and Hisui and Decidui down to minus six special defense, Gengar can punish this thing. Now, we do have to watch out for potential knockoff coverage or just hard hitting neutral coverage because Gengar is a little glassy with 60 defense and 60 HP but if you do invest into the bulk on Gengar and potentially if you're playing online with a friend if you can have someone that can either remove any stat boofs uh, buffs boofs uh any stat buffs that Hisui and Decidui puts into its attack that could be helpful for your Gengar now another option you could do is either Terra Fire or Terra Poison Iron Moth. Iron Moth also gets Acid Spray, but like Gengar, it does have a very fragile physical defense stat, so you do have to be weary of that. What you could do is you could go Acid Spray to get Hisui and Decidui down to minus six, and then you could go Fiery Dance, which does have a 50% boost of increasing your special attack one stage to synergize with that, but you could also make a case for Sludge Wave if you don't want to go Fiery Dance. And the reason why I'm saying this is because if this thing does have Rock-type coverage, Terra Fire is going to be a sitting duck for that. But Terra Poison still resists Grass-type attacks, which are going to be doubled in power from Stab because of the Terra Grass. And it also resists Fighting-type attacks. So maybe what we do here is... We still keep our third and fourth move the same. We run Sunny Day, so for five turns, you're going to have Intense Sunlight on a Terra Fire set. That's also going to give Fiery Dance another 50% boost, which means the damage output is going to be extremely real there. But it's also going to synergize with Morning Sun, which will give us back more HP if we need it. Now, you could run a Shell Bell. You could also run a Heat Rock, and... The big difference being Shell Bell will give you back HP when you do damage. Heat Rock, Heat Rock will prolong your sunny day. So you could do that. Now, this wouldn't be a post-DLC video if we didn't talk about some DLC mons as well. So Okie Doggy and Fezendipity might be able to have some fun here. Okie Doggy, you do have to watch out for flying type coverage, but Okie Doggy has the stats to go toe-to-toe -to -toe 
with Hisui and Decidueye on the physical side. We got that base 128 attack right there. We also have great HP at 88. And the 115 defense is going to mean that Hisui and Decidueye probably won't be able to do that much damage to us with neutral hits on Okie Doki with minimal investment. So maybe what we do here is we go full HP, full attack. I said those backwards as I scaled them, but you guys get the idea. We put the remaining four into our defense. We run Poison Jab to synergize with Toxic Chain to potentially get Decidueye poisoned. And then from there, we go bulk up. We increase our attack defense. We use Drain Punch as we need it. And the fourth move, you can just figure something out there. Maybe another Poison type damaging move. Maybe you want to run Poison Fang to quickly get this thing poisoned instead, because that is a 50% chance to poison uh, the target in general. So the nice thing there is, even if the Terra Shield goes up, uh, the moves won't have their effects nullified, so you can still get the status condition off of that. So you poison up Decidueye, you wear it down over time, you have the Poison Jab for a general stab options, and the main thing here is we're going to go Terra Poison for this too, because, you know, that's kind of the point. We're going to double our power, and then we're going to use Drain Punch to just gradually get back a little bit of HP as we need it. We could probably run a Shell Bell on Okie Dogie, and then that way we're going to get back some more HP as we do more damage over time. And then finally, let's talk about the other option, the other member of the Loyal Three. Sorry, Monkey Dory, I don't think you're doing much in this one here, but we are talking Fezzendipity. So Fezzendipity gets Acid Spray, which will synergize really nicely with Toxic Chain, because as you're lowering that special defense stat, you're getting the potential chance to badly poison Decidueye at the same time, which means we can then also go for Nasty Plant, as we're ch chipping down the special defense, we can increase our special attack. We have Roost to give us back more HP. And then we can do something similar to what I was thinking with Gengar. We can use Sledge Bomb for raw damage, or we can be brave and go Venoshock, double the power there, go from 65 to 130, run Terra Poison on this thing, get double stab, and then we should be able to give Decidueye one heck of a run for its money. So that's what I was thinking as far as the preparation goes for this Terror Raid event. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Some other Pokemon that you might want to try. You could definitely also make a case for Delphox, Armourouge, Cerule Edge. Delphox and Armourouge could be fun because, you know, the Psychic subtyping would resist the Fighting type, while the Fire typing could resist the Grass type. That's a thing too. But anyways, let me know what you think down in the comments below.